there they are. I knew you were fucking hiding in there. Got one. Alright. More gems. Oh, that's cool. Physical attack up 2 1, charge attack up 0.4, that's good. Ooh, skill scaling. That could be good. Charge attacks up. Okay. Need to go back up and put a put a level up into string so I can actually use that rifle spear. I'm trying to get over here so I can use that. Uh, open up another damn shortcut so I don't have to run all the way down through this shit again. Hey, buddy. Okay. Oh, sweet. Dead end. But treasure. Bloodstone shards are good. Yeah, I think behind that door is the Dark Beast fight. So I have to come in from the other side from the hidden city. Don't tell me both are coming down here. Okay, just one. Oh, so close. Yeah, get dead. Yo, what's up, man? How's it going? Happy day. <laughs> yeah, I decided to play some Bloodborne. I have Dark Souls 3, and my computer currently can't handle it, so... I'm waiting for... What was I going to say? I bought a new graphics card, so I'm just waiting for that to show up in the mail. And then I'll be doing a playthrough of Dark Souls 3, but... Until then, figured I'd work on some Bloodborne. Hadn't played this on stream. Yep, no DS3. Can't handle it. I have it, just can't run it. I was able to tweak my settings to get it to sort of run with kind of minimal, well, not minimal, with tolerable, how about that? Better word, tolerable lag. But the moment I try and stream it, and once I get up to the first boss, it just dies. Um, I played it a little bit um, off stream just for the simple fact that once I get to the first boss it starts to lag a little bit and starts to go into slow mo just because my current graphics card just can't really handle just can't really handle the graphics so and if you try and play online and the frame rate drops too low it'll actually kick you out back to the start menu screen and then you'll have to start offline which is really annoying in the middle of a boss fight, the game just kicking you out and telling you you need to get, basically you need to get good. <laughs> so I decided I would just kind of wait and hold off on playing it until I could get the better graphics car and that way I could just have a smooth playthrough, not constantly stopping and starting or waiting for the frame rate to catch up. Figured it'd be better just to wait. I mean it'll be here in a few, my graphics car will be here in a few days and then I can move on with that shit. And jump scare. Get fucked. Ooh, really? You finished it? Damn. So is it pretty short then in comparison to kind of like the other Souls games like this and Dark Souls 1 and 2? Oh damn, it's up there with Dark Souls, Bloodborne and Dark Souls 1, holy shit. I mean, I'd heard good things about it, like a lot of people said it kind of took the best from each of the games in the Soulsborne series. And that it just kind of implemented all their kind of best features, so... 
I'm God damn, I'm so excited to play it. Had like forty hours playtime. Shit. That's decent. That's good. Damn. That's a lot of playtime. Shit. Get that fucker. There we go. Not that long, but I failed all NPC all. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm all about those NPC quests, so I'm sure I'm going to be putting a shit ton of time. Yeah, shortcut. I'm going to be putting a shit ton of time into that game. And I am super excited about it. Fire paper is good. Okay. Well, now that we have that shortcut, let's. Oop, where the hell am I going? Oh, just went the wrong way. Okay, I got turned around. Now that I have that shortcut unlocked, we're gonna go back to the Hunter's Dream real quick. Kinda level up some shit. See if I can't equip the rifle spear. Yeah, waiting for Vadi video videos to explain the quest to me. <laughs> nice. God, I love his videos. He has such damn good playlists. I mean, he's got, a, he's got a great voice for recording and broadcasting and that kind of thing. But his videos are so good. Just just does such a good job of kind of presenting the lore. I don't know if you've ever watched um, Epic Name Bros videos, but he's also doing kind of a Let's Play through, I think he's got about... Oh, I forget last time I checked. I haven't been watching his videos just because I kind of want to experience the game blind. Because pretty much every one of these games in the series, I saw a playthrough of it before I even played it myself. So, I kind of wanted to do Dark Souls 3 a little blind, just to see kind of how it went without finding that stuff. But, I know Epic Name Bro is doing a playthrough on YouTube, he's got a few videos out so far. And he's always really good at covering lore and whatnot. He's also pretty good. He's one of the people that worked on the... He worked on the official strategy guide for Bloodborne and Dark Souls 1. I think it was Dark Souls 1. Yeah. Well, I just ordered it last night. Well, technically this morning. I ordered it about 1.30 a.m. Because I came home and was trolling around and was sad that I couldn't play Dark Souls 3. So I was doing some research on graphics cards. Well, and ended, ended up buying it. So it should be here... Let's see. What's today? Friday... I'm thinking it should, that the speed I ordered it should be here Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe Monday, if it decides to do short shipping. There we go. Um, let's put that up to 15. Farewell, oh, which graphics card did I get? I ended up getting a... Let's see. The Sapphire Radeon R9 380. That was the one that was kind of in my price range. It was an upgrade to the one I currently have. Currently have an HD 7700, which the minimum recommended graphics card for Dark Souls 3 was a, I think it was like a 7900 or 7950, and I have the 7700, so I'm a few clicks below the hat, a few generations below that. I think the graphics card I currently have came out in 2012 or something. So I'm amazed it's even kind of lasted as long as it did. So, what was I going to say? So yeah, I went with the R9 380, which is kind of... Oh, nice. Yeah, I like the Sapphire cards. I've got this... I think mine is currently a Sapphire. But yeah, I went with the, went with the 380 just because it was, it was in my price range. I think it was about like 189 or so before tax and shipping and all that shit. So it was like $189, which was all right. The next step up, going for like a 390, or if I went with a GTX card, was going to cost me like over $300 for the ones I wanted at those ranges. So over 300 is a little bit out of my budget currently right now. So I had to kind of buy within my budget. So 380 was good. Now, so you have the 290. So did you play Dark Souls 3 on PC with the 290? And if so, did it run well? Or did you get it for console? Aw, oh, yeah, Rifle Spear. Nice. 
shards. Oh, I need twin blood stone shards. Lame. Ooh, my blue nibus. Yeah, at the moment, I'm only watching streams on PC. Oh, okay. I play mostly on console now. Nice. Yeah, I've been... I mean... Because when getting games on Xbox 360, I was usually more inclined to get them on PC. Just because... 360's load times on certain stuff, like Dark Souls 1, was kind of long, and Skyrim and stuff. Skyrim was almost unplayable on the console just because the loading screens were so damn long. So when I was still solely with that console, I was more inclined to get games for PC, just like Skyrim and things like that, just because it loaded so much, so much damn faster um, But on PC. But now that I have the PS4, I'm... It's starting to get more inclined to get console games again just because the PS4 seems to run things really well. Like, I haven't had any problems. I have Battlefront, Bloodborne, I got the demo for Final Fantasy XV, which is pretty interesting, and Salt and Sanctuary, and whatchamacallit. The PS4 has had no trouble running them, haven't really had any lag or frame rate issues, or even the loading times aren't that bad in Bloodborne, which a lot of people complained about. So, I'm pretty much going to be going along those lines and getting a lot more... Oh, it only takes it up to C? That's stupid. And been really impressed with the PS4 so far. Let's see... Would it be better to do this? So it's 2-7. Hmm... Sixteen plus eleven. Sixteen plus ten. Ooh, charge attacks are up though. It really is convenient on console. I mean, they got a lot of shit going for them. Yeah, that's point four percent. That's not a lot. And I don't have any triangle gems. Okay, let's. Oh, 18. Hmm. What the fuck? Damn it. Oh, I'm trying to figure out this stupid blood gem shit. It's 2 1, charge up 2 1. Oh, that's why. Okay. Because I don't have the second gem slot, that's why that one's better. Alright, I'm I'm stupid. Never mind. Never mind. Oh man, I'm so excited. Like I said, it was just so laggy, it was borderline unplayable when I tried to play it. I'm so excited to play it. I've kept myself from watching so many streams just because I mean I've caught a a few little bit on a few of them, but for the most part, I've been really trying to not kind of watch streams so I could get like the full experience. Aw, oh, damn. Oh, it's going to be so good. What weapon do you get for a skill build? Um, I started out with a threaded cane. So kind of started out with this one just because it scales with skill pretty well. But I recently picked up the... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Not that shit. There we go recently picked up the rifle spear which I'm pretty excited to use does a lot of thrust attacks but mostly because of this like in its transform mode and you get like the slash attacks but mostly because of this when you do the transform and you do the charge attack you get like a super lunge like you go like most of the way across the room or you go like three or four steps so it's really good for charging against enemies and whatnot. Um, not gonna need that. 